President of the Senate, Senator Gautul Akpabio, has reiterated the commitment of the legislative arm of government to amending the constitution aimed at facilitating smooth implementation of local government autonomy in Nigeria. Senator Akpabio gave the assurance after casting his vote in his hometown, a Senudum local government area, during the local government elections on Saturday. ADBN correspondent Rebecca Edits completes the report. The Senate President, Senator Godswill Obot Apabio, and his wife, Her Excellency, Mrs. Akaite Unama Apabio, joined all the requirements to exercise their franchise at the Saturday's local government elections in the state. According to the Senate President, the local government autonomy would fast track the pace of development at a grassroots level. The Senate President further identified democracy as a key to fostering grassroots development in ensuring that governance reaches the common man. I, I believe strongly in the autonomy of local governments and the Supreme Court had recently uh, given a verdict that there is need for funds of local governments to go directly to local governments. But it will still need a bit of uh, parliamentary tinkering for that to become a reality as a result of various uh, provisions in the Constitution and in the, uh, in the various acts, like the Joint Local Government Accounts Committee and of course the provision of what we call uh, SIEG, which in Akwaibu is called Aki SIEG. Senator Apabio, who was accompanied by his wife, stressed the importance of his presence at the polls, not only to exercise his right to vote, but to encourage others to participate in the democratic process. While acknowledging the challenges facing Nigerians' democracy, he reassured the public of President Bola Ahmed Tinibu's commitment to addressing these challenges. The need for us to deepen democracy by allowing democracy to work. If democracy does not work, at the grassroots level, which is the local government, then it means that development will never trickle down to the common man. Because this is the closest administration to the common people in the society. So if we are able to make the local governments to work, automatically means that more dividends of democracy will get to the people at the grassroots level. So that is the reason why, in spite of other engagements, I said I must come here since Akwaibom is said to be doing local government elections today, that I must be here to exercise my franchise to take part and from there look at my people. Reflecting on his tenure while serving as governor of Akwaibom State, Senator Apabi remarked that his leadership was driven by the will of the people. He further reiterated that his current relationship with the state government is rooted in a shared commitment to the interests of Akwaibom citizens. My message to them is that do your voting. Whether you win or you don't win, the joy is in being able to exercise your freedom. Freedom and having the right to vote. The rest of Getting it right, we need parliamentary input, we need executive push, already the judiciary is pushing. But because we are a fledgling democracy, where Nigeria is just struggling to get it right, I believe that with the three arms of government working together, then indeed we shall get it right and we shall actually ensure that local government is autonomous, both in, both in terms of voting in terms of election, as well as in terms of finances. I recall one day when I landed at the airport, and they told me, Your Excellency, in two of our local governments, uh, we lost. We were the ruling party then. And I said, why did we lose? They said, the people voted against us. I said, that means the then acquired the independent electoral commission did a good job. So the then architect chairman, Mr. Supong, told me you know, that the stakeholders of my party we're asking for cancellation or possible annulment and repeat of this. I said, no, go and announce the winners. That was how ANPP 
under my tenure, one in the local government area, under the chairman then Boniface, and I think one or two others, and many council seats who also went to the opposition. So my presence here is not really to come and win election, it is to participate and observe, and from there find out whether there are things I and my colleagues need to do at the national level to better the lot of elections at the local government levels in Nigeria. You must know that my relationship with the state government is based on the interests of Akwaibom people. So I made up my mind when I took the oath of office as Senate President that I will not fight any states. Rather, I will collaborate with all the states of the South-South, including Akwaibom said, to make sure that the people are better for it. Meanwhile, the ward chairman of Okano West 2 in Esienodem local government area, Mr. Meyene Afagide, who expressed concern about the conduct of the election, however, prayed for a favorable outcome. The Akisye brought incomplete material. We argued for a while because we knew very well that that process would, one, slow the exercise, then two, we did not trust them. Because we know, after dropping in some units, the, the, the materials may not get to all the units as at the time for the election. But what they gave us today was 702 voters. And uh, that shortage disenfranchised a lot of voters. Rebecca Edet, ADBN News.